Right, so today I'm at some friends of ours' farm, um, the Weidmans, and I'm hunting some house sparrows. Their barn is always loaded. During the summer, I've noticed there are a lot more, but I'm going to try my best to get some today. Earlier, Henry and I were out here, and we saw a few. We shot at them like 20 times until they flew across that field over there. And Well, of course, we didn't shoot at them anymore, and, but I'm, I also get really allergic it's just to the barn, just like... So I might start sneezing, my eyes start, might start swelling up, and I might die, but at least I'll die having fun. But first I want to try and find, there's this one cow in here whose eyeball is like popping out of his face, and it looks really gross. And uh, I also watched another YouTube channel where a guy's pet fish did that. So I just want to see if I can find him, see if anybody knows what it might be, because it's disgusting. And since it's in the cow... And uh, apparently it can be in a fish as well. I just want to know if anybody knew what it might be. But his eyes, like, got a weird film on it. And it's like a purple color. Oh, oh, so there's actually a house sparrow right there right now. So I'm going to set my phone up. I'm going to hope that this, I'm going to hope that this, uh, I'm going to hope that this cow doesn't try to eat my phone. I'm going to shoot it real quick, hopefully. And then I'll go pick it up on the outside and you can see it. Get out of here, cow. So here we go. Got him. All right, so we'll go over there and pick him up now. Uh, I'm glad I got it a lot faster because for, <laughs> for those of you who watched my last house sparrow hunting video, it took me a very long time to get it, and it was zoomed in on my face, so it ended up looking kind of weird, and I was running all around. It wasn't, it wasn't my best video. We'll just leave it at that, but yep, here he is. He died immediately, which is what you want, so glad for that. There he is, guys. Got him, as you can see. Went right through his head, so. That's ideal. That's perfect. That's how you want it to happen. And uh, I'm glad I was able to remove this pest. If you want to hear about why they're a pest, you can just watch one of my other videos, and I can tell you. I tell you all about how they're a pest and why they're a pest. So here he is one last time. That's a male house sparrow. Uh, if you want to figure out how to tell the difference, go ahead and watch my other video. Where I tell you and uh, leave him here there for now. See if I can't get any more. If I do get any more, then uh, I'll tell you how much I got in the description below because this is going to end up being a really long video. I'll hang around a little bit longer, see if I can't hit me more. And, uh, and uh, if I am able to on camera, that'll be perfect. If not, I'll just tell you how many I ended up getting in the comments section down below. Also, a shout out to my buddies' channels. Um, my two cousins, Vinny the Monster and Gabe's World of Awesomeness. And then I have my friend Ethan Wolf, who is thinking about maybe changing his YouTube channel name to Somewhat Sane. We'll see about that soon. I don't know. But for now, he's Ethan Wolf. And when I was picking that one up just a minute ago to show you guys, I know I heard some others flying around. So I don't actually know where they went off to, but... Just trying to look into the trees and sort of listen for them. Not exactly sure. I'm glad I'm glad I got one of those a little faster than I did last time. I wish I had a better camera so I could have videotaped me hitting it and everything, but I, I don't have a better camera and I'm not I can't videotape myself like this and videotape myself shooting it, so But yeah, well look look around in here because up if you look up there, they hang out up there in the rafters I guess you would call them I don't know I don't know if it's really rafters but but I know they hang out there up quite a bit look at, look at even the cows think I'm an idiot for doing YouTube they're just staring by like what's wrong with this guy is he gonna feed us well no I'm not gonna feed you sorry <sighs> I'm also not feeling the best right now but uh hopefully I'll be <sighs> really short of breath but hopefully I'll be feeling better sooner so yeah when we originally came out here my brother and I back in here like right up here or something there were a few and they flew out over there to that little area over there and then uh we went around the outside of the barn and lit them up so to say but uh <laughs> didn't really light them up because we missed every single time and then the one time I walked over here and as I went through this stuff one of them flew up from down here she doesn't seem to be doing right now and I don't see any up in there right now so getting to about five minutes now 
I always say I want to stop them about five minutes, but I end up going a little farther. So I'll go out here, see if we can't see one one more time to get a good shot. And uh, hopefully I can get one more than I did in the last video. <laughs> but we'll definitely come out here during the summer sometime. And we'll shoot them. There are so many of them. There's hundreds of them. There's, the barn's full of them. They're chirping everywhere. And I'll be able to get some better shots and take a few more of them out over the summer. But as of right now, got that guy right there. That's a good thing. They used to have a ton of cats here, but all of them died recently. Some coyotes got at them, and some of them are just not nice cats and whatnot. So, but yeah, I don't really hear them. They might be up in the hayloft, so I might try and get up there real quick. Here. Tell me if you see any. I'll take your silence as you don't see any. <laughs> Good day. So, yeah, I think that'll just, just about wrap it up. There's this video. I don't want it to be too long, and I'll be crawling around up looking for rat, um, for some more house sparrows. If I knew how to edit my videos, I would just keep videotaping and then cut out parts I didn't like. I don't know, but I don't. So, we'll see you next time. Subscribe, share, leave a like, and uh, we'll see you next time on my YouTube channel. See ya. Peace.